When planning a vacation to the Big Island of Hawaii, it is so easy to see the same top 10, top 20 lists that have the same things listed over and over again. The same things listed over and over again. The same things listed over and over again. <sighs> like Volcanoes National Park, or the Black Sand Beach, or the Mauna Kea Observatory. And while those things are absolutely must-see things when you go to the Big Island, they are by no means the only things to do. So today I want to bring you 11 other things to do when you travel to the Big Island of Hawaii that nobody else is talking about. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, the first one I want to bring you is a restaurant in Kailua, Kona. It is Huggos on the Rocks. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. But next door to Huggos on the Rocks is Huggos itself, which is a fine dining establishment. But in the casual eatery on the rocks, it is literally on the rocks. You are overlooking the Pacific Ocean. You're facing west, so there's amazing sunset views. You have a large selection of tropical drinks and beers. And then they also serve burgers, sandwiches, and poo-poos that are uh, actually pretty amazing. And so this is a fantastic place for both locals and tourists alike. If you're looking for a great casual eatery which has stunning views and fantastic food and great camaraderie, Huggos is the place to go. Huggos on the rocks in Kailua Kona. The next one is kind of cool if you like a touch of the macabre and hiking, uh, but it is a little bit out there. And that is the Memorial of David Douglas, also known as the Doctor's Pit. It is on the dormant side of the Mauna Kea volcano, and it is marked by a spire where he supposedly died. Now, the story is worth reading, but to give you a little touch of it, there has to do with uh, some hiking, meeting up with a fellow Brit, and having some food, and then leaving, and a pit, and a wild bull trampling. So it's a little bit strange. No one really knows what happened, but his body was found in this place and they think they know what happened, but it really is a murder mystery. So it's worth reading up on. But if you are interested in seeing something with a lot of mystery surrounding it, take a look again on the Mauna Kea, the dormant side, the David Douglas Memorial, also known as Doctor's Pit. The next one is to visit the Pacific Tsunami Museum. Now, currently it's closed during COVID, but if you are viewing this in the future and they happen to be open again, they are absolutely worth a visit. Located in Hilo, which is on the east side of the island, this is actually considered one of the top destinations or top tourist attractions in Hilo. And what it does is talks about the big, huge tsunamis that came through that devastated that part of the island, killed over 200,000 people. It has exhibits with photos. It has interviews with survivors and all that went along with it. They also talk about the earthquakes that were involved. It is an incredibly moving, it is an incredibly interesting museum. And if they're open, absolutely well worth a visit. The next one is to visit or camp at Ho'okena Beach Park. Now, this is oftentimes considered one of the best beaches on the big island. It is, na it is, it is bordered by cliffs, and so it is somewhat protected. Although when it gets windy, it could be a little bit choppy, but it is a fantastic place to enjoy the day on the beach, go camping, to do a little bit of snorkeling, a little bit of swimming. The sand itself is salt and pepper, so it's a mix of white and black sands that create this steel gray color, but can be quite hot. So make sure you bring your flip-flops. If you are wanting to camp there, there is a fee for out-of-state tourists to camp on the beach, but if you're looking for a fantastic place to camp, I don't see how there could be anything else. In addition to, to the camping, there's also a small canteen where you can buy snacks and gifts and, and food and different things that you can do if you're camping or if you're just visiting. You can also rent things such as kayaks, snorkeling gear, and the like as well. The next one is to watch the Iron Man Championship. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the term, the Iron Man is the mm, big granddaddy, the, the, what am I thinking of? Um, it's the Super Bowl of triathletes, and it is held on the big island, usually in October. With COVID, that might change a bit, so be sure to check the link, which I've provided in the description below. But it is an entire event. It's not just the athletes performing the triathlon. There's a lot of small events around it to help engage the people that are watching. There are family fun runs, including the underpants run, where you literally run in your underpants. There's breakfast with Bob, where he interviews the local athletes and top athletes. There are other athlete interviews. There are There's a parade of nations. There's a ton of events surrounding the entire Ironman 
triathlon. And so it is absolutely well worth seeing, especially if you're interested in runners, triathletes, and just the whole being involved in an event of such magnitude. Next is a visit to the Hawaii Tropical Bio Reserve and Garden. Now, this actually has over 2,000 species of plants. It is intended to teach people how to work with nature and how to be more respectful of nature and, and be a part of nature. It is an absolutely breathtaking park with tropical gardens, waterfalls, the lush greenery I can't even explain. It has all of the beauty that the Big Island has to offer and it is an amazing, amazing place. If you are interested in gentle strolls and learning more about the ecology and the what and the and the botany of the area and just want a really peaceful, amazing place to go for a nice afternoon, uh, perhaps even a picnic, then this is the absolute best place to go. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about the top must-see places, and to a certain degree that's true, but if you go to the Big Island, I'm sorry, but you have to see the volcano. You just have to. Now, one of the best ways to see it is through a helicopter tour because then you get the bird's eye view of the whole thing, including if there happens to be any lava flows. Because in reality, lava flows you can't actually get that close to because it is too hot <laughs> and most likely too dangerous. But so you could do a helicopter tour to be able to see it, kind of the bird's eye view of it. However, there is also a few trails that you could do either on a guided hike, a tour, or as you're on your own. As and do a self tour um, hike of this trail. For instance, you can go on the Kilauea Iki Crater Rim Trail. This is a moderate level hike. It is accessible year round and it is about three miles round trip. Now, the one thing that I have to try to convey that if you've never been there, you might not understand. Looking at the photos of the volcano, it does not do it justice. It does not do it justice until you're standing in the middle of a lava field and can see and feel the, the devastation that came through, the idea that all of this lava came through and is now just a sea, a bed of lava. It's, I can't, I can't explain it. You have to experience it firsthand. So please, please, if you're going to the big island, please be sure you go see the volcano in some way or another. The next is another hike. It is the Awini, Awini, Awini Trail to the Hane, Kan, Hane, to the Hano Kane, Hano, to the to the Hano Kena Lui Nui. To the Hano Kena Nui lookout. Now this is another fantastic hike full of lush greenery and waterfalls and just amazing, amazing things to see. It is a 3.2 mile hike along the cliffs and it ends in a stunning view of the Hano Kena Nui Valley. Again, fantastic greenery, beaches, ocean views, valley views, cliffs. It is just absolutely gorgeous and something, if you like hiking, it's another place that would be absolutely fantastic to see. Now this one has a considerable vertical gain, so you would wanna be a little more advanced if you take this hike, but this hike is absolutely adored by locals and tourists alike. The next is to shop and eat at Uncle Robert's Awa Bar and Farmer's Market. Now this is typically held on Wednesdays. Again, if it's during COVID, please make sure you're checking to see if there's been any changes, but it is a fantastic open air, Tons of food stalls, crafts, locals a galore. They have live music, lots of camaraderie, great uh, local drinks that you can try, like the traditional Awa drink, which is said to make you mm, really relax. But it is just a fun, fun place to go and absolutely worth it if you're there, happen to be there on a Wednesday or whenever it is that they're holding it at that time. The next is the rock carvings at the Puwako Petroglyph <laughs> Park. <laughs> That is such a mouthful to say, but this is an area that is uh, known to be over 800 years old. It is rock carvings into the lava, over 2,000 rock carvings. It is a very easy, gentle uh, hike. It's about a mile point, 1.2 miles long. It's only about 30 feet in elevation. You can easily catch it north of Kailua Kona at Holoholokai Beach Park. And it's just a gentle hike where you can see from the trail, you can see over 1,200 petroglyphs depicting life in that time period. It is a great way to see some the ancient side of the island and enjoy the beauty of a little bit different view. This one's not going to be the lush green countryside. This is going to be a little different, a, a little different view of the many, many, many climates that happen to be on the big island, in case you didn't know that. Now this trail is best accessed in the early morning or the late afternoon because it can get quite hot in the midday. Again, it's not the deep, uh, thick forest. It's more deserty feeling. 
to say the least. It's like, it's just different. I, I can't explain it. You have to go on it to really understand because the Big Island itself has a many climates. It is not just a single tropical climate. There's actually many climates on the Big Island, including being able to snow ski at the top of Mount Kea when, when it snows, when it does. Uh, on the big island so there are many many climates to see it's not all rush tropical waterfalls there are other things to see as well and this trail would be one of the ways that you can see the other side and the ancient side of the big island if you're planning a trip to hawaii these videos here will help give you some ideas and inspiration and how to's to plan that trip and other than that i want to thank you so much for stopping by have a fantastic day and i'll see you on the next video take care bye bye